Thank you for renting a tow dolly from Penske. When used properly, a tow dolly is an ideal way to move your vehicle with your Penske truck. Because we care about your moving experience and safety, we ask that you please pay close attention to the instructions in this video. Please note that there are limitations and damage may occur to your vehicle or the tow dolly if these instructions are not followed carefully. The maximum width that the widest part of the front end of the vehicle you're towing can't exceed 74 inches. The vehicle's weight can't be more than 4,300 pounds. The minimum and maximum tire sizes can be determined by taking the required information from the side wall of your tire and inserting it into the formula shown here. If the result shows that your overall tire diameter is between 22 and 27 inches, your tire size is compatible with the car carrier. Please refer to pages 28 and 29 of the Penske Towing Guide for more details or visit PenskeTruckRental.com. To attach a tow dolly to your Penske truck loaded with your household belongings, first park the truck and the dolly on flat level ground to avoid damage or injury. Lift the tongue of the tow dolly by the handle and place it on the tow ball. Keep your fingers away from the front of the coupler area to avoid injury. Your dolly has a lever lock type coupler like this one. Lower the lever to lock in place, insert the locking pin if present, and pull up on the tongue to make sure that it's fully seated. Your tow dolly may be equipped with one of two types of safety chains or cables. First, there is a vinyl coated cable type. These cables are to be crisscrossed underneath the coupler to form a cradle and the hooks are to be latched into the eyelets on each side of the truck's tow hitch. The second type is a safety chain. Take them from their storage position and crisscross them under the tongue of the tow dolly. Loop the hook through the eyelet and attach it to the safety chain itself. The chain should create a cradle and allow enough slack for turning movement of the tow dolly, but not so much that the chain hits the ground. Take the wires from the storage position and simply insert the plug into the receptacle on the back of the truck. Leave enough slack for turning movement of the tow dolly, but not so much that the wires touch the ground. Check the lights, both turn signals, running lights, brakes, and flashers. Before loading your vehicle, make sure the truck is in park and the parking brake is set. Remove the safety pin, lift the ratchet handle, lift the pawl away from the sprocket and unroll the straps from their storage position. Lay the straps along the inside of the dolly's fender. Repeat the process on the other side. Make sure that the platform is straight. Allow the tow dolly to tilt back by releasing the locking pin. Approach the ramp slowly and cautiously. Check to make certain that there is adequate clearance between the ramps and the lowest point of your vehicle. Slowly drive the front end of your vehicle onto the tow dolly until the tires are resting against the wheel stops. The dolly platform will go into the upright position. Make sure the vehicle is centered on the tow dolly and that there is at least three inches of space between the dolly's fender and the wheel well on each side. If your vehicle is not centered, damage will occur. Place the towed vehicle's transmission in the park position and engage the parking brake. If your vehicle is equipped with a standard transmission, place the transmission in low gear. Turn off the ignition and remove the keys. Slide the platform locking pin into the locked position. Place the straps over the tire. Make sure that the inside of the strap is not against the suspension part, a brake line, or the brake assembly as damage may occur. Adjust the straps so that they are on evenly. Slide the ratchet assembly to the center of the tire. Pull down on the strap until it is snug and ratchet the strap down. Leave the ratchet handle in the down position by pushing up on the pawl to drop it down. Replace the safety pin. Repeat the process on the other side. Attach the safety chains to the chassis. Leave some slack on the safety chain to allow some suspension movement of the towed vehicle. 
avoid placing the chains over any brake lines or damage may occur. It's important to disconnect the drive shaft if your vehicle to be towed is either rear wheel or four wheel drive. Towing your vehicle without disconnecting the drive shaft will burn up the transmission, even if the transmission is neutral and only towed for a short distance. Contact your local auto dealer if you are uncertain if your vehicle is front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, or four wheel drive. Release the towed vehicle's parking brake and make sure the steering wheel is locked in the straight position. Remember to lock the vehicle and remove your keys before exiting the vehicle. Pull the tow dolly about 100 feet and perform a safety check on all of the connections. Make sure the tow dolly assembly bolts, safety chains, coupler, electrical hookup, and tire straps are hooked up properly and the coupler is properly secured to the tow ball. Repeat this check after the first five miles and then every 50 miles thereafter or prior to departing from service and rest stops as these components may loosen during travel. Once everything is safely connected to the tow dolly, you're ready to tow. Never load anything in or on the vehicle while it's being towed. This will create an overload situation and cause failure of the tow dolly during your trip. Do not attempt to back up the truck with the tow dolly and car attached. This will result in damage to your vehicle, Penske truck, and tow dolly. If it's necessary to back up the truck, disconnect the towed vehicle from the tow dolly and the dolly from the truck and move separately. Always unload the vehicle from the tow dolly before disconnecting it from the truck. Failure to do so could cause serious injury and damage to your vehicle. For proper vehicle unloading, park the truck and dolly on flat level ground and apply the parking brake on the truck and towed vehicle. Reinstall the drive shaft if your vehicle is rear wheel or four wheel drive. Remove the safety chains from under the vehicle. Remove the straps by first removing the locking pin. Lift the ratchet handle, pull the pawl away from the sprockets and unroll the strap. Leave the handle in the down position so the vehicle does not hang up on the handle when backing off the tow dolly. Take the straps off and lay them on the outside of the tire. Take the strap off the other side in the same manner. Release the platform locking pin. Release the parking brake of the towed vehicle and slowly back down off the dolly. If the drive shaft was removed from the vehicle, Check the vehicle's transmission fluid level before driving any distance, as transmission fluid may have leaked out. Return the platform to the up position and insert the platform locking pin. Return the safety straps and safety chain to their storage position. When you return your truck and tow dolly to Penske, you don't need to disconnect the dolly. We will take care of that for you. Please take the following added safety precautions when hooking up and using a tow dolly. Contact your local Penske representative if you have any questions. Failure to comply with Penske's towing instructions may result in damage to your vehicle and the tow dolly. Penske will not be responsible for any damage as a result of improper use. Thank you for renting from Penske. Have a safe trip and best of luck in your new home.